actions bind us. If you do good action, you have to take another birth in order to experience the good effects. So enjoy the rewards that you get for having done good things in that life. On the contrary, if you do bad things, we have to suffer the punishment for it and that is essential. That again involves taking another birth and having another body. So the births and rebirth chain goes on endlessly forever. So what is the way to do the actions? We can't remain without doing the actions, but how to do the actions and escape these results of births and rebirth chain? For that purpose, very simple uh, a remedy he gives. He says, these are the only two things needed. One is Ishwararpitam Nechayagritam Whatever you do, Ishwara Arpitam. Whatever you do, you just dedicate it to the Lord. Lord, it is all yours. I don't do it. Something made me do it. It is all you. It is all your drama. You made me do it. So I didn't act. It is you who acted. Only the body will look like mine. But you did everything. So it is all you. So every act you do, you dedicate it to the Lord. Second is Necha Yakutam. Never do any action because you wanted it. You were desired. You desired it. So without any desire or attachment, when you are made to do certain actions, then you just dedicate to the Lord and then you do it. Then the ill effects of actions will not catch you at all. You will be free. And that is what he said. And then, what is the use of it? The use is, this becomes the ordinary karma or action, becomes a yoga, the, the yoga of action. So how can you become the yoga of action? What do you mean by yoga? Yoga means union. So what is the union? Union between the individual soul, which is only a, uh, a, a mental delusion, of which the ultimate reality known as the universality, the universal totality. So, she says, for that purpose, it may not be directly useful, it may not directly lead you to that Lord, but Chitta Shodhakam, that is what one step called keeping your heart clean, your mind clean. Then only the Lord will come and be there, or rather, then only He is already there, He will be able to reveal Himself to you clearly, only when the mind is pure. So, He says, Chitta Shodhapam. It is indirectly to helping you in moksha. The first step, namely, the purity of mind will come by doing action in this way by delegating it to the Lord and also doing it bereft of any particular desire to do. Without any desire, automatically it just became spontaneously. So that type of action, it will never catch you. So she says, Ishwararpitam nechayakritam chitta sadhakam mukti sadhakam then it will enable you to go on the path of mukti and get it easily. So, this may not be able to get you the mukti immediately, but it will uh, indirectly help you by first giving you your clean mind, your mind, pure mind, which will enable you in due course by doing further sadhanas to reach the Lord. Ishwararpitam nechayakritam chitta shodhakam uh, mukti sadhakam. 
This is from Upadisha Sara by Raman Maharshi. Thank you, Mr.